What's up guys, Evans B here. So the video you're about to watch is actually a pretty old video. I shot it last year, but then we never got to release it because we had some scheduling conflict, etc, etc. But I thought it'd be interesting to have a discussion on why I think umbrellas are truly great tool in your arsenal and Rob doesn't seem to like them. So that's the part. So I really want to know, do you think softboxes are better or umbrellas are better? Let me know in the comments below uh, what you think and why, specific why, because I'm looking for arguments and I'm going to be scouring who's saying what so I can actually hunt you in the internet. Jokes aside, if ever you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Also, make a comment, again, giving your opinion, and I'll see you at the end of this video. So yesterday, Rob shared a video on why he doesn't like umbrellas for photography. I'm going to spend here maybe three minutes telling him why he's completely wrong. Listen to me. So I haven't seen Rob's video because I'm shooting this in advance of his video being released and again I haven't seen it yet. But instead of refuting his points telling him that oh softbox sucks, sucks and then umbrellas are great, I'm just going to tell you why I love umbrellas. So first reason why I love umbrellas is because they are affordable. Let's say you want to have a huge huge modifier like an umbrella in order to get the same size as the softbox in terms of umbrella, you pay a fraction of the cost that you would pay. So an example, if I take a huge 70 inch softbox from let's say even the Glow, which is supposed to be an affordable brand, it will cost you approximately six to $700 to get the same thing you can get for 150 to $200 in an umbrella form. And Editor here. So maybe something I forgot to drive while I'm editing this video is that in order to get 70 inches and larger, you have to go through the really expensive modifiers. Because I know there's a softbox that's like 60 inches and it's relatively quite small compared to the size of umbrellas you can get on the market. So you can get a 60 inch for like maybe a hundred and something dollars, which is cool. But to get something like that's seven feet and higher, you have to go to the really expensive modifiers and they are really expensive. And a note. And it produces not exactly the same light, of course, but if ever you want to get this really large modifier for an umbrella, you pay a fraction of the cost. And the second reason why I love umbrellas is because of space consideration. But to explain that further, let's go to the studio and I'll tell you why exactly I love umbrellas in a small studio space or actually any space. Here we are at the end of my cyclo. A cyclo is simply a wall that has a curve for those who don't know. But very simply, this is the cyclo. My cyclo is actually pretty large. It's about 12 feet. But the big issue that I have with it is the space that I have between the wall here and here is less than three feet. A regular softbox, if I would put it on, would basically take over my cyclorama, which is a big issue if I want to use the entire space for a shoot. Because the way the umbrellas are shaped, they are flush and would end basically with the end of the cyclorama versus a softbox that would basically eat a bit of my cyclorama. And I don't have much space here. Again, I have less than three feet if I, you see me standing over here. So this is why, again, for space consideration, umbrella is our awesome. The third reason why, again, I love umbrellas and I think they're absolutely great is because they are very versatile equipment. Let me explain with some behind the scenes. So I love scrims and I'm like, angling to buy one, just raising the money for it because they're pretty expensive. But if you want to get a similar, of course not exactly, effect as a scrim to get a big overhead light, a big, big umbrella, which is 67 inch or more, will create something that is very like a huge scrim. Again, not exactly the same, but for the fraction of the cost you get, you can get the same effect without having to sacrifice your entire budget on one piece of gear. Another reason why I love umbrellas is because they're easy to explain. If ever you want to get into lighting and you don't know how to start and you're not really looking to spend a lot of money, you can get a nice silver reflective umbrella with a soft sock on top of it and diffuse light and play with it. And let's say you progress more and more into your career. If you want to start controlling it, you can flag it. You can use V-flats. You can do a lot of things to basically shape that light in the way you want to. And let's say you want that really hard light or harder light, you can just remove the sock or remove the diffuser and have this beautiful crispy light that will generate some effects, let's say on skin or on the look of your set. So it has many things to do with a softbox that you can do with an umbrella, just in my opinion, a little better. And the last reason why I love umbrellas is because they are extremely portable versus a softbox because of the ring mount, they take a lot of space. Although I know for a fact that there's a now brand new type of light that basically I use collapsible 
uh, mounts for your lights and they are getting more and more affordable and more and more present in the market but up to this date there's not a lot of options except a few brands umbrellas is still the king for portability if you want to have or bring with you a large modifier on set or on location or you travel with it you can actually buy a, let's say a 42 inch umbrella pack it up nicely it's going to be very long and thin can probably fit in your luggage you close it and you pack it up and you have this brake source of light for your travel versus a 42 inch softbox will be huge and humongous and will take a lot of space so if you want to get this portability the umbrellas is still king in my opinion for portability and also for ease of carry around and also for weight consideration i mean there's a reason why chris knight let's say a very famous photographer still uses them because they're actually great affordable cheap and you can buy a lot of them and use them in various ways because they're really awesome. So I hope that gives you a new point of view to Rob's video of why maybe umbrellas might be a good idea for you, but again, to each their own, to each their own shooting style. And I hope you like this video, do the whole YouTube thing. I'll see you in the next video and check out the box below if ever you wanna buy yourself, of course, an umbrella. I'll see you in the next video.